Well, there have been about 100 calls this year where South Bend police officers were dispatched to an apparent overdose. And until today, those officers have had to wait for medics to administer Narcan. It's a drug that helps reverse the effects of an overdose. WSBT 22 Zach Crenshaw is here. And Zach, the department has been looking into Narcan for a while now. Yeah, one chief told me it's been more than a year in the making, Jennifer. Today, many of South Bend's roughly 250 police officers were trained to use Narcan. And they're hoping that as more first responders have the medicine, more lives are saved. When a heroin overdose happens, every second matters. It is a matter of life and death. Uh, once the person has an opiate overdose, uh, their respirations decrease. They become hypoxic because of lack of oxygen. In the past, paramedics were the only ones that could administer Narcan, which occasionally added precious seconds of wait time. A lot of times we are the actual first responders uh, to a lot of the medical incidents. They're out in the city, so they're much closer to individuals. Today, that all changed as South Bend police officers were trained and equipped on how to use Narcan. Simply, it just uh, reduces the effects of the heroin itself. It snaps somebody out of uh, whatever they're into, whether it's a, a cardiac arrest, not breathing at all. All of South Bend's roughly 250 officers are being trained. As they finish, they're given the medicine, which can only help whoever it's given to. It has uh, little to no side effects at all. Uh, if the person has not taken an opiate and we give it to them, there is no harm to the patient at all. Narcan has been in high demand across the country, and it isn't cheap. Oh, it is very expensive. Initially, when it started, started, it wasn't as expensive, but how do you put a price on a human life? I don't, I don't think you can. As officers add the nasal spray to their arsenal, they're hoping it gives them one more tool to help save a life. This Narcan just gives us an opportunity to start the process to help save a life. Today's training was put on by the St. Joe Regional Medical Center and also LaPorte, LaPorte City excuse me, and Porter County already have officers using Narcan and say it's helped save lives already. Rick, it looks like it will become even more common as LaPorte County tells me they should have officers trained within the month.